I was born in uh, Belgrade, Yugoslavia, which is uh, Serbia now. I uh, played in a lot of concerts, competitions, um, traveled around Europe when I was in my teens, and was exposed to a wonderful variety of uh, musical cultures. I started playing accordion when I was eight years old and my first instrument was the uh, piano accordion which would be the regular one with keys and then after about five years I switched to the bayan, the instrument that has buttons on both sides. And then I came to this country in 1991 and I met a wonderful organ professor at Wayne State University, who unfortunately is no longer with us, Ray Ferguson, who uh, basically stirred me on to the organ. And that's when my organ career begins. This was in 1993 where I began officially playing the organ and transferring some of those Bach works and lists that I have played on the Bayern to the organ. So I knew the music, all I had to do is just reconfigure myself and put the feet into the mix. So there are not that many organs in Serbia being a predominantly Eastern Orthodox uh, um, country and uh, in Orthodox Church organ is not used. Uh, however, there are also some Catholic churches and uh, there are also some organs. Uh, in the city of Belgrade there is an Italian uh, electromagnetic organ by, uh, by the company Zanin from Italy and it's a, about a three manual 40 stop instrument that, that is fairly nice and, uh, and, the, and the church acoustics where it's placed are also very good. So we have this annual organ festival which I will participate this summer both playing and teaching and uh, actually they bring um, a lot of very well known European artists to this event. My home is now in Indianapolis where I reside with my wife Christina and my son Victor and we uh, like it here very much. I teach here at the University of Indianapolis where I'm building an organ uh, program and uh, this concentration which would be the music minor and church music and I also work as, uh, as a music associate and organist at Northminster Presbyterian Church.
Well, Durfle is one of my favorite uh, French organ composers and uh, all more special because uh, during my visit to Paris I was able to actually visit not only the church but his apartment and uh, that was very special to, to see his practice organ and to see the manuscript of the Requiem in his own hand and where he had lived, composed and, and everything it just left uh, an indelible impression on, on my mind. And just his, um, I think, impeccable craftsmanship and uh, just the spirit of this music, which is just very deeply moving, I think, without any um, elements that are, uh, quote, showy, I, I think for their own sake, uh, really uh, speak to me. Of course, the whole story about this piece being written in memory of Jean Nolan, uh, it does have a kind of a special metaphorical connection to me, because as Durofle lost his friend in the war, in a way I lost my country to uh, many wars. So it's a, it's it's the uh, it's the sort of a metaphorical connection of a loss that I feel in this piece, and of course the theme of, of the litanies and, and how it's it's all put together, and especially the fugue, really speak to that effect. Mm -hmm. 